it's never straight. Our leg in ballroom is always soft forward. Now, if this will be that, if you jump and you stop it, this is your natural balance because your leg and your uh, ankle absorbing your natural weight to the floor. So I don't jump and then I with the straight leg, otherwise it kill my body. And then I jump and then go down. This is too much. So if I jump and then stop, this is my naturally balanced. Okay? Now, most of the time, we need to stay in this position. There is some step, of course, that you go up, but it's not up with the straight leg. It's still going up, but uh, our balance uh, is still on the floor. So legs in ballroom uh, are never straight. Now, after that we have uh, balancing position, we come back about the cross. To make the union before rotation and sway, we need to feel uh, that uh, all our body all our center dancing like in diagonally. Because look, if we are in position, if we are in position and we do just rotation, our body is quite flat. If we do just sway, <laughs> we don't have rotation, so we can finish the line. Our body has to follow the diagonal line. This is means that, imagine that there are seat belt here, okay? I pull in my seat belt, from the left shoulder, my seat belt is crossing all the body until the right hips and the right leg. So in this moment, what's up in the body? That the body is like going diagonally and make together rotation and sway. Um, I want to add one thing because, sorry. One of the most important things for this action is that uh, what Valerio is talking about, the reaction of the left side towards the right side, to, towards the right hip actually, is not going everything in the same direction because then the couple balance will be like <coughs> in danger, okay? We still have to keep the common center clear. Because we have, in a way, we have to have a fixed point or a safe point where we have to do all this action around it, okay? So this is, anyway, is the quiet point, common center between the couple. So we're still doing this action. We're still turning this common center towards this right side, but we are not taking the common center away from the lady. Mm -hmm. Because if not, the lady will, ch will chase it. We start to search for it, okay? That's the thing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if, he, if he will turn the center of the comments, <laughs> who is the one that talks a lot? Okay, from here. If he's turning, and this is good action, but then the common center will move, I will start to chase. <laughs> okay? So, we can do as much as we want, but the common center has to be towards the lady all the time. So, he can turn as much as you want without change the common center. Doesn't change the direction of the common center. Same way, opposite way. So, we have the left side still towards me. Make sense? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Now, that's why we said before. It's important to mentally to feel, really feel it diagonal. Because when we are in connection, and you know, everybody knows that we have to stay right with right, okay? Now, this is the point that we never have to lose. Because if I'm moving a lot, like Monica say, she starts to talk. If she's doing a lot, she still starts to talk. <laughs> okay? So this part, so in each case she always talks. This part is always together. Now, why is important to follow, no, no, seriously, to follow the diagonally? Because when I'm moving my body diagonally, like following the cross, 
my body naturally is moved forward to the lady. And the lady is moving forward to me. That is, sounds very stupid, but it's the reality. We are in contact and we are in front of each other. What, look the difference. If I'm doing uh, my action, if I do my action but I don't take care about the direction where I'm moving, uh, look what's happening. If, for example, I want to do a prominent, okay? Everybody know prominent. If I do a prominent, I do my action because I'm turning my body, but I'm not turning in the right direction because I'm turning my body away from the partner, okay? If, for example, um, Monica do the natural turn, and the end of natural turn, instead of a diagonal line, she do herself. What do you do? Natural turn. If she do one, two, she do alone. So here, what's happened that the couple center, they are not together. So the movement, they are not together. Timing, for sure, will be not together. And obviously, the balance are not together. So it's very important. Aspetta, I told you that you always stop. I want to let them know, yeah, so I'm like... It's very important uh, to follow the diagonal. If we look, if we, one more, if we do together the exercise, okay, in front of the mirror. Now, look, I will do wrong, she will do correct, okay? The, this one. If we do this exercise, looks the difference between her body and my body. I will do wrong, she will do good. So, did you see where is moving uh, her shoulder and when is moving my shoulder? So I'm completely back. My partner is here. She's always right. I did it right. I understand. <laughs> My partner is in front of me. No, and me are in front of her. So when we move in the body, whatever we do is for communicated our action forward. Because all this part is our center. So our, our center is moving forward, our center is changing, is moving forward in this way. Even for the lady, <laughs> even for the lady that we have the shape. I will think, wait a second. Yeah, go. too much talking. Sorry. Talk. Okay, even for the lady that we have our shape, so supposed to be back in our mind. Okay, we are diagonally back, but even if we have rotation, we are not moving back. Okay? The rotation of the body is still forward, the direction of the head is diagonally back. But the body is keep moving forward and we have that side turning forward. It's not back, because then you don't turn and you don't move. Okay? So, even if you look from this side, this is still moving forward. We have the rotation. Okay? So this is moving forward, this is not turning away. Never. So the head, the line of the head is diagonally back. <laughs> I don't get it. So, <laughs> okay. Now, look the shirt, look the t-shirt. Come on. So, Men obviously look more like a lady if you want your face. Obviously look more. <laughs> now, shirt never has to be uh, never has to be straight. The shirt has to design the cross. So if I'm dancing and you see that my shirt is completely straight, means that I'm completely square. No bad square, but still square. Now, to be good, our shirt. Think just a mental idea that have to design always a cross action. Imagine that we are in position. I'm here. If, if you want to enjoy us, like imagine that. First of all, we start with the crossing from the left to the right. Look at the shirt. So this is crossing there. So this part have to design a curve. Now we change in opposite way. Ooh. This is crossing there. So the shirt, or the shirt, whatever you have, has to design something. If you have the tail suit, never go to straight tail suit. Let the tail suit to dance. 